Tonight, we're remembering a Blanchard woman tragically killed over the weekend. Ashley Fannenstill was shot by her own husband, Conrad, on Saturday. He then took his own life. News 4's Natalie Kleinsdale spoke with Ashley's family today. Natalie. Well, not only did this tragedy take an innocent 30-year-old's life, but it also has left her two young kids without both of their parents. She was my best friend. We were inseparable. In Oklahoma, family's hearts absolutely shattered. She was fun. She was the life of the party. She was absolutely everybody's best friend. After 30-year-old Ashley Fannin-Steele was tragically killed by her own husband. And we loved him like he was ours. No one could have ever saw this coming. Investigators say over the weekend, Conrad Fannin-Steel shot both Ashley and a police officer before turning the gun on himself. And ultimately, the suspect is deceased from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is a tragic uh, situation out here. The McLean County Sheriff's Office told News 4 the injured officer is now at home recovering and is in good spirits. However, Ashley did not survive. She leaves behind two-year-old Fallon and her five-month-old Carson. The plan moving forward is for Ashley's sister, Christy, to become the kid's guardian. Everybody in our family loves those kids. And we're all just going to work together to make sure that they have the best life that we could possibly give them. The family's lawyer, Kim Rennie, says a VPO was filed against Conrad within the last two weeks, but ultimately was never served. He had been notified that a protective order had been filed. He had not followed through with turning in his guns, which are required by the protective order laws in the state of Oklahoma. And obviously did not respect the no contact order. The family says Conrad suffered with mental health problems and they hope sharing their horrific tragedy tonight will serve as a powerful reminder for people to take these types of issues seriously. Don't downplay it. There was things that could have been done to help him. Well, this hardship has also come with a lot of legal expenses for Ashley's family. The link to their GoFundMe page is on our website, KFOR.com.